Welcome, mobile traders. This is your instructor, Bradley. I'll show you how to create watch lists through Weibo. Um, and a lot of folks ask me, how do I find my stocks to put on a watch list? I find it from Finviz. I find it from Robinhood. Um, but today, I'm going to actually show you how I find them through Cash App, since everybody has Cash App. We know someone has it and very popular app to use. So we're going to go into Cash App. Click my Cash App button. Let me go from the very beginning, how I got to this screen. All right, if I click this tab at the bottom with the Bitcoin and a little note beside it, I scroll down. You can see I have a bunch of different sectors. Banking and finance, energy, ETF, media, entertainment. If I click one, let's click media and entertainment. You can see right here it gives us um, subcategories performance, uh, whatever this advanced is. Okay, let you know, dividend stocks. And it shows in this sector what falls underneath of it on the media and entertainment. Um, a quick note, it's up to you, your personal preference, what you want to put on your watch list. Like I have, um, for example, Apple. I have Apple in my tech watch list. I have Apple in my phone watch list. It doesn't matter how many times you have that stock in your watch list. As long as it falls under the sector in some form, you're good. So don't even trip off of that. But if I wanted to click on one of these, let's use Fox. Fox News, right? FOX. I'm going to go over to my Weibo. Because I'm going to show you how to transfer that information over here and put it on your Weibo. So if we're doing Fox, FOX, okay, this Fox right here, you can go down the bottom, you click Profile, and Weibo itself, just like any platform that you use, Robinhood, Weibo, Moomoo, TD Ameritrade, it doesn't matter, they give you their you know, industries and sectors for different stocks. So Weibo has it under broadcasting, media, and publishing. So you can even click on this and you can find different stocks to add your watch list based off of the fact that you just put in Fox, which is a cool thing. So snap right there. So Fox, you want to put this under, let's see, do I have a media one already? Do I have a broadcast or media? I don't. Okay, so that's perfect. Let's add a new watch list. You want to put it under... Jesus. I butchered that word. Broad... Broadcast, my bad. I spelled that wrong at first. Broadcast sector. Okay. You want to hit the save tab up top. Now that you already have a uh, a watch list saved, now you want to add it. You want to add it by clicking that star, scrolling at the bottom, broadcast sector, hit it, hit OK. Boom, that's in your broadcast sector. Now what I want to do, I want to click on broadcasting and just add a bunch of stocks that goes into it. Not even reading what it is right now. I'm just adding. And then when I come out and I go to my watch list, I go at the bottom, broadcast, boom. This is it right here. So I've done that process a bunch of times, and you can see I have my finance, uh, utilities. I mean, we can keep going. We can keep going. But you definitely want to create a watch list with as many stocks as you can put in there. I'm talking about 20 and up. Because watch lists can actually let you know what's going on with the actual news or anything come out. So just a quick example of uh, 
how to create a watch list, any questions or concerns, comments, hit me up, let me know.